So it's uh, Wednesday, the 16th of March. Uh, time for physics fun. I'm in my car today and I'm recording a video using my dashboard cam. And you can see in front of me we've got a BMW 520 diesel um, and we're in traffic. So I'm thinking about stopping distances. Okay, now I'm looking ahead and I see the lights flash. I think about it. I then put my foot on the brake. So there are two parts to that journey. There's a time that I'm thinking, effectively, and before I'm thinking, I'm not actually braking, so I travel a distance. So like now I'm thinking, shall I stop, shall I stop? I move my foot to the brake, and then I'm now braking at the moment. Obviously it's a bit confusing because we're in traffic, so it's kind of stop, start. So we'll have another go. So I'm accelerating, I see the lights, I think about it, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, I'm stopping, and my speed or velocity reduces to zero. So two parts of the journey. So on a graph, if we think about a velocity time graph, we would surely, imagine I was traveling at five meters per second initially, you'd have a graph that goes straight along, and then I'm thinking about it, and it's still going straight along, so I'm still traveling um, a distance, because I've got a constant speed or velocity, and then when I start to brake, we have a, a line that goes down, but it's a steady, constant deceleration because I'm putting my, my foot on the brake pedal, I'm putting a force in the backwards direction, a resultant force. So previous work you may have done, looking at the idea of resultant forces, so you have the engine force going forward, drag acting back, maybe road resistance acting back, and then my braking force acts back as well, so one, all of the forward forces take all of the rearward forces, should end up with the rear forces being negative. And there we are. So that is a very simple idea for stopping distances, which is a combination of thinking distance and your actual braking distance.